Hi, I'm Kat, and today I'm showing you how to make this miniature functioning pool table that you can put in your dollhouse game room or just on your desk for a rousing game of pool at any time. As always, if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, thumbs up, or leave a comment for me. This video is done in collaboration with the talented Kat at the Square to Spare. She's made a working arcade game, and this one is powered by a phone. It's really cool. So don't forget to check out her video and all of her other videos on her channel, and I'll include the link in the description box. And please be sure to check her out and subscribe. So I'm starting with this piece of balsa wood. It's about four inches wide. And you can go with four extra jumbo popsicle sticks, but I'm gonna go with the balsa because it's gonna be a little bit thinner and easier to punch through without a drill. I cut this into a four by six inch sheet. This is going to be the base platform for my pool table. And then using regular popsicle sticks, I cut off the ends so that they would join together. I'm going to use two on both of the longest sides. Cut a small notch out of one. And then do the same thing with the other. and then line them up and do the same thing to the other. You can now glue these pieces together and clamp them in place. Cut off the ends so that two other popsicle sticks can fit on either side. And then using a skewer stick, I wrap that with sandpaper and I'm gonna sand out that little notch in between, changing the triangle to a semicircle. Now, you can line up the popsicle sticks exactly where they're supposed to go on the plank. Use a pen or pencil to trace a portion of a circle all the way around in the corners. You're going to use this area along with your new sanding tool to sand out a semicircle on the shorter pieces and a quarter of a circle on the longer pieces. Then you can glue all those pieces together to form a frame. Place the frame directly on top of your plank and mark off all the holes. Then use a skewer stick and just punch through the balsa. It's really simple. You can use a pen to enlarge it and then go back through with your sandpaper tool. Now you should have six holes in your frame and in your plank. Go on ahead and glue both pieces together and that is the very top of your pool table. Using four extra jumbo popsicle sticks, you're going to use two at a time to form the sides. Cut them off so that they fit the inside of the frame, six inches wide. Now take one of the pieces and cut an inch out of the center. Cut that piece in half and then cut a tiny little slitter off the bottom. When you put them back together, you'll have a long rectangle with a tiny rectangle on the inside that's about an inch wide uh, by about a quarter of an inch as well.
Now go on ahead and mark that off onto the other blank piece of wood. Now using regular popsicle sticks, you're going to cut off the ends so that the rounded tips are gone. And you're going to place these so that they slant from one side into the center. Glue them in place about a third of the way down from the top of the popsicle stick and so that the bottom of them lands directly on top of the lines that you drew earlier. Do that with two pieces. Glue the pieces on top of the other so that they sandwich each other and glue them onto the pool table. You want the outside wall to have the one to be the one with the hole in it and the inside wall to be the ones with the slants attached. Now cut off two additional pieces to fit the sides of the pool table and glue those in place as well. Now I'm using two additional pieces to form a plank between the channels. And now I'm using jumbo popsicle sticks to form the legs. Cut these into one and a half inch pieces. You need eight of them and then glue them together to form right angles. Once you have four, you can glue them directly on top of the corners of the planks that you put in. Finally, I'm using two two-inch extra jumbo popsicle stick pieces and two four-inch jumbo popsicle stick pieces. Glue the four-inch piece on the inside of the legs on the long side and glue the two-inch piece on the inside of the legs on the short side. And to cover this, I'm actually going to use flocking, so I'm going to paint the surface of this green. But if you'd like to use felt, you can just leave it plain. And then I'm painting the actual pool table black. Now I'm using a mixture of glue and water. And I'm just going to spread this quite liberally over the top of the pool table where the green section is. And I'm using green flocking that I purchased on eBay from the craftflocking.com site. And I'll place the link in the description box below. Of course, you can use green felt, as I said earlier, or you can even cut up Chanel pipe cleaners into uh, your own green flocking. And normally you apply flocking with a ketchup or mustard type bottle, but in this case, I didn't have one on hand, so I'm just going to use this baby medicine dropper. And I'm just blowing the flocking all over the, the glued spaces on the pool table. Allow it to dry and then you can just go on ahead and tap all the excess off. I cut an aluminum disposable cake pan in the strips and flatten them out and I'm using those as accents on the table and on the legs. Also, some silver paint along the top, and this will be the studs. If there are any mistakes, you can just wipe it off while it's still wet and reapply. Now, 
Now a skewer stick is going to form my pool table cube. I cut that into a four inch piece and then I sanded that top section so that it thinned out quite a bit more. Then I made 16 balls out of polymer clay. To form a triangle, I'm just going to stack all the balls so that they form a triangle on their own. And then I'm going to use a coffee stir stick to create the triangle for them. Remove the balls and glue the triangle in place. Paint that black as well. Then you can decorate your pool table or your cue stick however else you want. Thanks so much for watching guys. Bye!